Hi everyone, I'm going to make an agile page and it's going to be also how to manage all your stashes, not all your stashes, but uh, the leftovers that you keep forever. So I declared a war or on my uh, stash of leftovers and here I've got a bunch of uh, black and white and not so black and white and I've got all this which is uh, all the colorful uh, painty papers and all kinds of wipeouts and uh, of excess paint and it's just everything that we keep and I've got jelly prints uh, here that I've already used and well it's becoming unmanageable and I think when we go to sleep at, at night uh, the stashes are multiplying so I decided to do a page from my uh, all these leftovers and from the leftovers of the leftovers I will give you some ideas what to do so I'm going to make my life easy and I'm starting my background with this paper this was this is just a printer paper and i needed to spray my stencil and stamp my stencil on another page so that's what was left and this is going to be the start of my background so i'm taking a brush and just plain white uh, glue and i'm going to put it all over my page and I should have done it before <laughs> because it's worrying and it wastes time. Never mind. I'll be quick about it. As quick as I can. <laughs> Don't know if you've noticed, but I still have a raspy voice. Don't know why. Can't get rid of uh, this uh, scratchy throat. So my apologies in advance. And just placing it here. And let's take some something flat and just. Here we go. So I've got the beginning of my background. And when it's completely a, a dry, I will uh, trim the excess or maybe uh, now so I can see what I'm doing. At least here. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, so just some painty paper in the background. I'm going to take a, like I've got this leftover and I want to start a, cutting a, some rectangles, just building some layers. I'm not measuring, I'm just trimming. Don't know what will uh, come out of it just need some pieces so I can play around this is just a page from a coloring book and you don't have to have a trimmer uh, most of the time I don't use the trimmer now for uh, making things a little bit more uh, quicker I'm using the trim trimmer so let's see what I've got here uh, in terms of black and white this is uh, from some kind of packaging 
don't remember what was in it and of course I kept it because we don't throw anything just laying around for now don't know uh, the exact uh, thing that is going to come out of it another packaging this was for uh, I think it was a, a punch it's too it's too thick for a trimmer here we go Just going to play around with uh, the rectangles. We'll see what <laughs> what will come out of it. What else do I have in black and white? Another piece of paper here I stamped uh, with a stamp of uh, cracks. Basically, now it's just the rectangles and that I'm going to glue down something like that and I'll be back. We'll continue once it's uh, all in place. <laughs> I'm back. So, I've glued uh, some pieces and it still looks like a mess, but it's still uh, in the works. It needs to dry. I'll trim the axis once it's dry. And moving on, I'm leaving, uh, moving this aside. And one of the tips I've told you about is when you've got leftovers of this kind of paper, it, uh, several things that you can do. And I'm, what I'm talking about is like, if I've got something that I took a circle out of. Now, what I've done uh, when I went through my, my stash is if I could uh, take from this uh, paper the, the size of an ATC, then I would uh, mark it and take out an ATC. But when I've got this kind of a, of a leftover, what I'm doing is just putting it to the trimmer taking out whatever rectangle I can take out of it and even making more and now I've got this stash of a lot of rectangles that are going to be used uh, to make a very colorful background so this is one thing here again I need to trim This is a nice piece, I'm going to leave it be or uh, cut it uh, to the size of an ATC, which is a two and a half inch by three and a half inch. Moving this aside, I still have this uh, left over. Again, taking out a rectangle, it's going to the stash of the rectangles that are going to be a background. And this, and this, and all these little pieces that were left from what I've cut already are going to the garbage. So when I've started working, here we go. I've already got all this stash of ATCs ready to work on. So 
I've got this, which is mice, and leftovers are going that I, you can't do anything with are going to the garbage, something like that. Again, I'm going to trim it. This is garbage, unless you want to punch something out of it, like flowers and something like that. Nice size going to and this so something like that i'm just keeping because it's a big rectangle i can still work and do many things with it so is this so this is okay to have a stash of this kind of thing so i'm uh, again up till now I would uh, keep something like that because I would say I will have another page to rip uh, pieces and glue down but I, I've got a lot more of this music sheet so why am I keeping something like that so I'm going again and I'm going to trim so I will have some kind of a rectangle Here we go, something a little bit more manageable than what I had up till now. So, now for the uh, colorful part of the uh, Arjunal page, I haven't forgot about it. So I'm just moving aside everything. <laughs> and I've got all kinds of leftovers uh, of painty paper, jelly prints that I've already used, made all kinds of collages and what I'm doing is I'm making a... it's not a circle, it's not a triangle, it's just something that I decided on the shape. I'm going to make some fun a whimsical flowers and I want them as loud and as colorful as I can make them taking out the shape I've already made uh, several so we won't have to waste time here we go really don't have much more to do with it and I've got so many jelly prints so why am I keeping it again I'm not even trying to be precise in my cutting just going with a permanent marker so I will have nice edges there we go it's going to go on top of this and the third one Here we go. This is going to be my flower. So now I've got left uh, with this, and this is uh, here. I can make a uh, take out at least one uh, size ATC. Now uh, this uh, paper is flimsy. It's a printer paper that I've jelly printed on but it can be the backing of a, an ATC card so I'm just marking always have a template for everything just easier that way so this is going to be cut and go to the stage of my ATCs Here we 
go. And now this is going to the ATC's stash. And this is a nice piece. I'm going to trim it into a rectangle. And it's going to the rectangle stash for the background. So nothing is lost, but uh, now everything is more organized. And you can see what you're doing <laughs> with all this uh, pa paper running around. So just taking a little bit of glue not trying to put them straight I want them whimsical I want them fun here are my other ones that I've made as colorful as I could make them And a square key <laughs> as I could make them here are my flowers so now I need to my background to uh, dry before I'm assembling my page and moving the ATCs in the making <laughs> also uh, to the side and I'll be back I'm back so here is my background I still want to give more definition to this uh, pieces I'm taking a black acrylic paint and, <laughs> and it doesn't want to get out okay just brush and <clears throat> sorry dry brushing I'm only taking a little bit on a the tip of the brush and I am just dry brushing the edges of my pieces just for added interest or more a I don't know grungy look <laughs> so like so I don't want all this black and white to just uh, disappear so that's why I'm <clears throat> like uh, framing each piece and I'm also going to go around my page like so not trying to be accurate or anything Just as I said, just making all these pieces have more definition. Of course, you don't have to do it uh, like this. You can take a stabilo uh, all purpose. And I just didn't want to add more water here because uh, to activate the stabilo all, you need the water. <coughs> oh my God, my throat is killing me. So basically <laughs> I'm just going over all the edges so I'm gonna take some time uh, that's what I'm going to do to my page and as I said all around it also and then I'm going to place my flowers I'll be back when I'm uh, done with all this edging <laughs> I'm back done with the edging uh, of all this uh, edges <laughs> and now i'm just going to place my flowers and i'm still kind of uh, i don't know playing around with them not that it really matters and i'm just going to glue them down 
I'm only putting a uh, one drop at the center. It doesn't uh, really. It, it it's not uh, necessary to be glued uh, all of it. A dot at the center it will do. Yeah, that's my flowers, and now I need a stamp. <coughs> I'm going to take, and uh, this is puff paint, or 3D paint, or tulip, or many uh, um, names for this uh, product. So I'm just going to draw some stems. In the hopes that it will work because it always clogs. Here we go. don't really care where they are going just for the impression <laughs> and that's my page <laughs> that's my crazy colorful page I'm done with it it needs to dry everything moving it aside here is what I've done with all the rectangles that I told you I'm going to make a background and here it is still wet lots of glue and it needs to be dry before I'm going to work on it so this is it that's my idea uh, for using all your leftovers and here is my uh, pile of already cut ATCs so more manageable now all these leftovers i hope you like this and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now